Right guys, back here with another technique review video and we're looking at Pat Velner today, absolute OG of CrossFit, absolutely incredible athlete. He's been up and around that top five for years, so he's a very well established CrossFit athlete. You guys want me to take a look at his hand clean video, which is cool because we haven't reviewed one of these before. So we'll get stuck in. First things first, one thing that Pat does really well when he initiates this movement for a hand clean is he picks the bar up the exact same way he would do as though he's cleaning, which is really good to see. I always like to see people simulating the same movement from hand as they do from the floor. Reason being, because it allows you to actually load the legs in your preparation for the hand clean as opposed to the back. But one thing you'll notice is Pat gets to this top position. You'll see this movement here where he kind of drops his shoulders back. Now, what that causes you to do when you lower into the hand clean is do the complete opposite when you lower down, which causes the shoulders to move forward and the legs not really to bend. So, as you can see when Pat's in this position now, his legs are super straight, which isn't ideal because when the legs get straight in this position, what happens is the only thing that Pat can kind of do to actually propel this bar from here is lean back. So, the hand clean is an accessory movement to help work on extension vertical force during the top phase of the lift. However, the way in which Pat's doing his hand clean by leaning forward and swinging back is gonna actually cause a bad habit of the bar moving away through the middle, which is why I wanna kinda of have a look um, at what happens here after he hits extension. So as he lowers, he lowers to the top of the knee, which is the right position. The first bit of the movement actually tracks really well because you see how it's running specifically here, back up his thigh, which is what I like to see, but as I suspected, as he extends, the bar's now moved quite far away from the body. So we see quite a big gap here between him and the bar. Um, that's caused by that little bit of a lowering um, issue at the moment. One thing I would say would really help him is when he's lowering into that hang position, think about bending at the knee so he loads his legs. This is gonna keep the bar closer through the middle phase of lift and really help speed up his turnover. There's a little bit of foot movement out there happening into the catch position, which is good. Uh, it does shift a little bit to the side. I don't know if it's an injury or a tightness in one side there. But again, I don't think it causes much of an issue for him, but good to spot. As he turns over into his catch position, he gets the elbows through on this side, much higher than this side. Again, maybe tighter in his right side than he is, is in his left, but that's definitely something that I notice here. If anyone else does struggle with elbows dropping excessively in the hand clean or in the clean, what I would normally suggest is bringing the hands in slightly. If we go back to his kind of setup, he could definitely afford here to bring the hands in slightly, so narrowing that grip a little bit would help probably with his front rack position but that's just something that I spotted. Turn overall in all those, very good. Gets his elbows through before he hits the bottom position and he catches the bounce at the bottom, which is great. One thing that I do notice is as he's standing up, he's bringing this right foot in a little bit before he hits the top position. It might be that he'd actually be better starting with his feet a little bit narrower in the setup for the clean so that his feet move to more where the position they are right here, which again would make him a little bit more efficient. Let's see what happens with the second lift same kind of amount of movement and be coming back to the start position. So maybe that he actually likes to bring that foot in in preparation before he actually finishes the clean, before going into the next rep, which is maybe why we see that. And then this final one kind of exaggerates that leaning forward again here. See the chest dropping as he lowers and the legs kind of straightening. Straightening, that means he's just using his back really here and not his legs as much as he could do, which is why we kind of see this short extension here with the legs, but he's getting away with it because he's got good mobility and an efficient turnover. That's a couple of things that I saw from Pat's hand clean. I think overall pick up from the start, really good, but in the preparatory position for the hang, try and stand a little bit more upright and actually lower by bending the knee. So you actually can use your legs to strike up a little bit more. I think you could easily put another 10 or 15 kilos on these reps that you're banging out here. So I hope that helped. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take a look at Patty B's lifts.